Suppose I should grin and bear it until she's gone, though. And she might start gossiping with me <laughs> about me to the rest of the staff again. Leah? Oh my god. What have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? And we're back. Hello. Okay. So, <laughs> I came back to this because I am not going to kiss him. I'm going to slap him this time because he deserves a good slap. Maybe. I don't know. He does actually seems like a nice person. I just I just don't feel like Leah is a nice person. Like just the way she talks to Akuchi and the way that she like judge um, Doyle. I don't think that Leah is a good person, but let's go ahead and get the slap on. Raising one hand and bringing it down. Hearing an uncomfortable crack of the skin against skin as I slap him hard on the cheek. Not so hard to truly hurt him, but hard enough to make my point. What the f*** is that for? Yeah, like, now you just slapped him. You're on top of him, just so you know. He just made it, like, he just thought. He's just reading the room. Dale Wells, dumbfounded and defenseless beneath me. Don't act daft. You know I have a boyfriend. Tears begin to well up in his eyes as the glower <laughs> at him, excuse me, from above. <coughs> Jesus, I had like a little catch in my throat. My hand's still stinging slightly from the impact. Perhaps I did slap him a little too hard after all. I'm sorry, I thought you were flirting with me. I didn't mean to upset you. I swear I was just trying to have a laugh with you, you know? I mean, and you are again on top of him, so... I'm just saying, by the way, I went and got something to eat because, oh my God, I needed something to munch on because I felt sick to my stomach. Now I feel like a complete butthole. Watching as the poor guy quivers in distress, holding one hand clasped firmly in the redness, uh, to the redness of cheeks, excuse me. Heaving a huge sigh, I climb off of him, holding out a hand to help Doya off, off the floor. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to attack you like that, I just lost control. It was completely uncalled for. Can you forgive me? Sorry, I was scooting my mic a little closer. As Dale gasps, I <laughs> he grasps his hand tightly, wiping away a lone tear, I pull him gently to his feet. Sure, but I think I'm gonna need another drink. He drinks a lot. Like, I get it. You know, when you're out there on the street and stuff, it's probably hard. It's tough. You got to cope the way you can cope. I just don't think drinking is good at all. Help yourself. Exhaling deeply, I watched my battered guest retreat to the kitchen. What would Akuju say? Akuji, excuse me, Akuju, excuse me, say if he saw any of that? I'm sure he'd waste no time lecturing me on many, many reasons why I shouldn't drink. Pulling my phone from my pocket, I can't help but fixate on the photo of us together, staring straight back at me as if judging me, judging my actions. I wish Akuji would call. Maybe he tried on the landline? There's a pretty <laughs> slim chance, but might as well check. I mean, do you really want him to check on you? New messages. You want him to check on you for real with this guy in the house? Figures. I'd like to meet this Akuchi of yours. Wandering back from the kitchen with a tub of ice cream pressed to his face, Doyle's eyes dart between me and the phone. I can't quite tell if he's trying to make a point or if I slapped him, <laughs> if the slap was genuinely that painful. Um, listen, Leah, let me get situated while I talk. <clears throat> he's probably like, if he, as your guest, got slapped, imagine what you do to your boyfriend. I need to meet him. He might can open up and tell me why you're such a psycho. Hmm? Maybe that's what he's thinking. Because that's what I would probably be thinking. Yeah, you'd probably like him. You guys might get on great if he took the time to get to know you. Yeah. That'd be nice. But most folks don't have the time of day for people like me. I'm kind of used to being invisible. Besides, um, I can't imagine he'd be too impressed with me being here, hanging out with his girlfriend. He's got a point. Why is Doyle, the the homeless guy, the tramp, whatever y'all call him, 
why is he making the most sense out of this Leah? Can you just like give me a reason why he makes more sense than you do? His deflated smile has me feeling a little sorry for him. What kind of person slaps a homeless guy? Me, apparently. True. It's not like you invaded my home and tried to woo me away from him, though, is it? Shrugging, I let out a small chuckle, hoping to put more genuine smile back on his face. Right? Or is it? Maybe that was my plan from the very beginning. So there's one thing that I learned all... If there's one thing I've learned over the years, behind every little joke is a little bit of truth. Even if it's the tiniest bit, it is a little bit of truth. So I think that is his his plan. Sight so realizing he must be joking, his words managed to make me feel slightly uncomfortable. Rubbing me, <laughs> robbing me, excuse me, of, <laughs> of a response. Nah, no one would be crazy enough to do something like that. I'd imagine what it'd take to orchestrate you have to plan it months, maybe even years in advance. It's just not practical. Well, sorry, Johnny. If you say so, you just have plenty of time on your hands. You're a homeless man. You don't have a job or anything. Seriously obvious of my discomfort, Doyle rambles on to himself, waving the ice cream around <laughs> with enthusiasm. Anyways, I got enough on my plate without adding a love triangle into the mix. So don't worry. You're perfectly safe with me. Hey, do you mind if I have this? The ice cream? No one ever can take my ice cream. I am addicted to ice cream and I will willingly go to my grave holding an ice cream jug, okay? Don't ever. Gesturing to the tub of ice cream, Doyle lifts the lid before I can even have a chance to reply. I would have snatched out his hand. Sure, go ahead. There's not much left in there. Though. I don't care. I don't care if Actually, it was a spoonful. I'm feeling a little peckish myself, so I might pop out and grab some more. You want anything? Just so y'all know how serious I am about ice cream. I adore ice cream. It is the best thing in the world. Don't ever. I will eat ice cream in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. And if I catch anybody, I don't care if it's a spoon's full left. I don't care if it's half a spoon. I don't care if I left a, like, the smidgiest smidge of smidge of in the, in the tub. If you take it, you will be missing something off your body. You took something that belongs to me and now you're missing something. That's how serious I am about ice cream. Don't ever, don't ever touch my ice cream, ever. A couple of bottles of something strong would go miss, if you're sure you don't mind. Oh, and we're almost out of body wash too. You probably used the whole thing. Considering the state Doyle was in when he first got here, that's hardly surprising. All right, well, the shop's not too far away, so I'll see you in a minute. Make yourself at home. Thanks, Leah. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. At least we're being nice to him now. Doyle goes to hug me, but when I shrink away instinctively, he pulls, <laughs> he puts on the brakes. Excuse me. I suppose it's nice that he's at least respectful to my boundaries. Flashing him a bright smile, I grab my coat and head out. Ooh, I don't like this. <laughs> hmm. Oh, we're Doyle I now? I who that could be. Hey, this is Leah. I can't get to the phone right now, so, well, you know what to do. Are we Doyle now? Hi, Leah. This is Flair. Hi, Flair. Just checking to see if you're okay. Clara said you'd phoned in sick. Shame you missed the assembly. They did you proud. Except instead of saying two tank common, Faye said tootin' baboon, the little devil. <laughs> it got a good laugh, though. Oh, and poor Cody Smith had to run out for a wee during Walking on Sunshine. No. Everyone sends their love. I hope you're all right. I know it's not been easy. Call me, will you? Hope to see you Monday. Take care. Bye. Huh. At least she's checking on you. Interesting. Play message. Hi, Leah. Message deleted. Oh. You have no. Messages. What? We don't need you sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. Wow. Huh? Looks like she left her phone behind. Not that she'll be needing it now. I'm sure she won't miss it if I just hide it for a while. Okay. Doyle's crazy. I knew it. Something's wrong with him. He's psychotic. The entire week passes and I still haven't heard a word... Or even heard from Akuji. 
I misread that so badly, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> After several serious discussions with Doyle, I decided to <laughs> take a break. <laughs> Sorry, that a break is exactly what I needed. Oh my God, but I can't read today. When the phone, <laughs> when I phoned the school up to check that would be all right, they completely agreed. I know some of the other teachers have been trying to get me to do this for a while now, but they didn't have to seem so so darn eager to get rid of me. Why do they want you to take a break? Have you been really that stressed out at work? Usually when people be asking you to take a break at work, they usually just notice that you're just really going through something and they just want you to take a break before you lose it or snap or something. A little exaggeration on their part of how much they'd be missed during my absence would have done wonders to my self-esteem, but nope, instead, it seemed as though Doyle was the only one who actually wanted me around these days. Dun, 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 dun. I don't mean to stick my nose in it, but it sounds like you should really focus more on yourself, Leah. I don't trust you. Any, if they, I'm telling you, they gave me the chance to kick him out again, I'm, he's gonna be gone. You spend so much time taking care of others that you never have room for yourself. Jesus, is something seriously wrong with him? Those words of wisdom echoed in my mind. He's exactly right. This is the, my time. And <coughs> I'm going to use it to work on stuff that really matters to me. <coughs> this little itch in my throat is killing me right now. And I don't have any water right now. Lying in bed, clutching a copy of one of Kikio's famous books, I rubbed my eyes, taking another swig from the bottle beside me as I read from the excuse me, for further inspiration. When out of nowhere, my bedroom door swings open, almost torn to its hinges. Uh oh! Doyle's like, I want it, and I'ma need it, and he's gonna come try to take it. <laughs> you better fight, Leah. Oh God, this got me worried. Hey, where have you been all Akuji! I was really starting to miss you, you know. He came back! Oh, Akuji, I've missed you. So, you didn't get any of my texts? Great. I was worried sick, so I thought, fuck it. I'll just come over and see if you're alright myself. No. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. Your network's a sack of shit, Leah. Will you just hurry up and switch already so I don't have to crap myself every time you go dark on me? Oh, he came to check on me. That's so sweet. Standing in the doorway, seamlessly exasperated, excuse me, Akuji shoots me a signature, you're such a moron face, and can't help but smile at just seeing him again. It's not like we've never been apart before, but Akuji is a ray of sunshine in this otherwise black abyss. <laughs> that is my life. Okay, okay, I'll sort it out. As soon as I find my damn phone, that is. Can you close the door, please? It's freezing. You're drinking. Usually so, people are warm. Is it true? Is what true? Oh. Oh, I got the yanni today. Akoji seems anxious all of a sudden, but I have no idea what he's talking about as he perches himself at the end of my bed. Flair said you've been off sick all week and that you're thinking of quitting. That blabbermouth witch. Yeah, well, you know I hate the job. And I just think I could be making better use of my time. But those kids need you, Leah. What could be more important than that? Those kids probably not gonna... If they're kindergartners, they're not gonna remember. They don't really need me, though, do they? At that age, anyone will do. And let's face it, I'm hardly teacher of the year. If you say so. Can I please open a window? It stinks of pumps in here. Pumps? Shoe pumps or bottom pumps? Both. Wow. He said you smell like booty and feet. <laughs> Girl, go take a bath. <laughs> oh, Leah. You can't be mean and funky at the same time. They just don't work. <laughs> Ouch. Go on, then. A brief silence fills the room as though it had floated in a chilly breeze the moment Akuji opened the window. So, are you actually going to tell me what's going on, or do I have to squeeze it out of you? And don't you dare try and bullshit me saying you're fine and stuff, because the Leah I know takes a shower every damn day. You rig, girl. <laughs> Booty and feet. Go take a shower. <laughs> Rude. Doesn't make it any less true, though, does it? Come on, you can talk to me. Oh my god. Is she smell like booty and feet right now? Can you imagine what the front smell like? 
Uh, it must smell like fermented fish. Oh God! You ever smelled a raw, like a a funky egg? It's not like eggs and fish in that. Oh God! <laughs> I just can't. Casually seating himself beside me on the bed, Akuji brushes his, my hair out of my eyes. A grave look of concern on his face. I thought maybe you were too busy with your new show to care. What? Hell no! I was just busy rehearsing all week. I told you that. You're so forgetful these days, Leah. It's a wonder you remember to eat. Mm -hmm. Poking a finger into my forehead, Akuji pouts at me in disbelief. And I told you I lost my phone. Now who's the forgetful one, huh? You didn't lose it. It looks like uh, Doyle took your phone. But hey, I mean, you know, this is who you want in your life, I suppose. Uh-oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. <laughs> I poke him back playfully, but it seemed to do nothing to lift his mood. Lost it or just forgot where you last put it? Uh, it's the same thing, really, isn't it? No, it's not. <sighs> I give up. Anyways, listen, I know you probably don't want me poking my nose in your business, so feel free to slap me, but I spoke to Fleur, and she said if you just go in and talk to Mr. Pemberton... Ugh, no, I don't want to speak to Mr. Pemberton. What kind of... I don't want to speak to anyone right now. What kind of name is Mr. Pemberton? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm be quiet. <laughs> not even me? Aku's inflated power as he points to himself causes me to giggle a little <laughs> at how silly he looks. He's the only one who could manage to put a smile on my face when I'm feeling so grumpy. Well, you're special, so you don't count. That's beside the point anyway. I just don't want to work there anymore. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and Doyle's right. I should focus on my novel instead of a job that's making me unhappy. Doyle? You mean that weird tramp? <laughs> he's still calling him a tramp. Actually, he's not a tramp anymore, and he's really sweet. I'd love for you guys to meet sometime. Leah, I hate to be the one to burst your bubble, but the dude is using you. I have to agree with Akuji. He's definitely got to be using you right now, because it is... I don't know, he took your phone, he's deleting your messages and stuff. That's not cool. He's got to be using you and by the way an alert just popped up on my uh on my phone right now that says it's snowing outside so i hope you guys are safe out there if it's snowing where you are yeah well you would say that you've never cared about my novel at all just because i'm not getting paid to write it doesn't mean it's a waste of time he's got a point too i never said it was i just think you need to consider your options carefully here you have a decent job leah don't throw it all away to pursue some fantasy of becoming a writer just because of some bum off the street told you to live your best life okay for him to say that as a as an actor your whole thing is to take a chance you just told her not to take a chance on her dream and pursue her dream you basically tell her you know you got something be grateful that you got that and that alone and that's not how life works you just told her not to take a chance on her dreams and you know what that is wrong of you akuji i was standing on your side till you said that yeah, that's not okay i can't believe the words coming out of his mouth rising from the bed i almost sent akuji tomp toppling jesus i gonna say poppling <laughs> off as i stand in front of him seating it's not a fantasy aku you know how much this means to me. I don't care if I have to live on the streets myself. This is what I want. Instead of shouting back in anger, Akuji pauses as though carefully contemplating his next words. A part of me wants him to fight with me, but I find myself calm by his gentle hands clasping my shoulder. Look, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your life, Leah. And I have no intention of shooting down your dreams. Just... Know that as someone who truly cares about you, I'm scared. I've never seen you like this before, and it all started when that tramp showed up. All I'm asking is that you look after yourself. I'll always be here for you, okay? Aww. Okay. Aku's words soothe me, causing my frustration to gradually melt away. Good, right. I've got to go now or I'll be late for rehearsals. Always remember that I love you, Leah. 
And for God's sake, get yourself a new phone, will ya? I'll call you on the landline in the meantime. Scooping me up in his arms, Aku gives me what feels like the tightest hug I've ever had in my life before disappearing out of the door in a rush. Now there's a true man right there because I don't think I could hug you if you smell like booty and feet and that fermented fish in the front too. I'm just saying, if you're not washing your butt, you're definitely not brushing your teeth. I'm, there's just no way. I'd have been like, I love you. Mm -mm. Uh, kisses on my fingers. I kiss my fingers. And, mm -mm. There you go. Bye bye. <laughs> love you. I love you too, Aku. That's real love right there. I'm telling you, I don't care how much I love my boyfriend. There's just no way I could be kissing him on the mouth like that. <laughs> Leave me standing there totally conflicted. I wonder in what I'm supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> ba ba Reread that. What I'm supposed to do when out of nowhere, Doyle appears in my doorway as though conjured like a genie. I wonder if you heard any of my conversation with Aku. Hey, I just thought I'd come and check on you. Good job too, because you're not looking so great. Did something happen? Yeah, Aku just told me he didn't believe in my dream. I need to stay in my comfy job. And, uh, that, um, my writing sucks, basically. He didn't say that, but still. <sighs> oh, nothing, really. Aku stopped by and lectured me on how I shouldn't be taking life advice from a tramp I just met. No offense, by the way. <laughs> huh? Strange. Must have missed him. And it's fine. I suppose the guy has a point. He does? Well, yeah. I mean, you barely know me. I guess. This tells me that even Doyle is shocked. Like, wow, I can't believe someone's so stupid to just let me in the house like this. <laughs> if this talk is supposed to be helping me feel better, I think I must be missing the point. You took a chance on me, Leah. You didn't have to let me into your apartment. Give me new clothes. Share all your brilliant ideas with me. But you did. And I'm grateful for that. No. Whether no, or not don't fall you for trust that. My advice is entirely up to you. But that's all it is. Advice. You never have to do anything you don't want to. Don't fall for this, Boya. <laughs> Cause he he still stole your phone and deleting your messages is still a bad thing. It's a serious <laughs> The sincerity in Doyle's voice is enough to warm my heart. Not that that makes things any easier when it comes to deciding what I need to do with my life. Aku's advice is sensible, but I do really want to be a sensible girl that lives a comfortable life, never taking any risks, never truly being happy. That's the problem. I think I do want to. No, I know I want to. I'm just scared that this could all be one huge mistake. With the tears threatening to spill from my eyes, Doyle opens his arms wide. Come here, you. I don't trust you. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Do I, nothing. I can't. Yeah, I don't trust you. Refusing the budge, I lower my gaze to the ground. No worries. I get it. Here, you get one like these instead. Ooh, I got the Yanni's today. Glancing up at Doyle, I watch as he mimes hugging me <laughs> from a distance, squeezing the air with a silly half-grin on his face. Sorry if I complicated things. Um, if you want, I can just go. They give me the option, you're gone. I'm sick of the lack of re <laughs> reaction as imperviousness, excuse me. Doyle sl clasps his hands together anxiously, fearing the worst. It's okay, Doyle. I do a perfectly good job of that by myself. You have nowhere to go, right? So you're welcome to stay here as long as you like. You're too, you're too mean and too cold and too nice at the same time, Leah. Thank you, Leah. That means a lot. I'd be thinking far too much like, dang, what would my boyfriend do at this moment? He'd tell you to get out. <laughs> He'd beat you up and then tell you to get out. He'd throw you Uncle Phil style out the door and then tell you to get out. So tired. Maybe I should just stay in bed a little longer? No, I have to at least make an effort to get up no matter how crap I feel. I will never get any writing done if I lay around on bed all day. He's got a point about that too. 
Making my way towards the front door, I sighed when I noticed there's still no mail waiting for me. Great, so everyone forgot. I guess I could try my phone instead. You have no new messages. Oh man, he's not only like taking her mail or whatever she gets at her door, but he's deleting her messages. He, it has to be Doyle. Sorry, what was that? You have no new messages. No mail either. What, are they on strike? Wow. You have no new messages. I'm still waiting for that stupid check to come in. I'm running out of money. Don't suppose I have any messages today. You have no new messages. That is sucky. Yeah, what is she? Think so. She said a check. I'm stupid. He stole her check? Wait, you can't cash a check without some ID, right? So that doesn't mean nothing. I mean, don't yeah, it's just a it's just a worthless piece of paper to you unless you got unless your name's Leah. Slipping away in a huff, I hear Doyle shake a bag of Jane I would say genie pieces. Game pieces. <laughs> so I sneak off to join him on the sofa. Genie pieces. Someone Jeez. seems exceptionally grumpy today. What's the matter? You know exactly what's wrong, sir. Taking some tiles laid out in front of me, I have a huge sigh of, dis of disappointment. Blah. <sighs> it's my birthday today. Oh, Leah, happy birthday. Jeez, Leah, you should have said something. Happy birthday. I can't believe I didn't get a single card. Even my family forgot. My grandma normally sends one by courier three weeks in advance. I really could have done with that tenor as well. No, don't tell me you're heartless enough to not only steal her birthday stuff, but to delete happy birthday stuff from for her? You're a psycho, Doyle. Cheer up. Maybe they just got stuck in the system somewhere. I'll go with Pod. Five points. Wow. Yeah, right. Everyone's forgotten about me. Even Aku. Too busy with his stupid play, I bet. I've dropped out of society. I might as well not exist anymore. Loser. Also five points. They're playing, uh, what's that game called? I don't know what the game's called. But they're playing the one where you have to, like, find the words and stuff. Slamming the tiles down, a grimace at the aptness of my chosen word. Why don't you have a birthday beer? We got plenty in. And stop trying to make her drink. I don't want one. Yeah, thank you, Leah. Say no. Without a, with a grumpy sigh, I turn my face away from him. You could always wash the dishes if you got nothing else to do. I'm sorry. Who's the guest? Thank you. Lazy. 16 big ones for me. Wow. Excuse me? I can't believe, barely believe the words that just came out of his mouth. Surely he can't be serious. If you're so bored, why not? It's been sitting there for two or three days. So go you are boo I'll be trying not to cuss. But this one gonna make me cuss. The nerve of this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Whose apartment is this? Thank you. I'm only saying. And you can shut up about saying it. Why don't you clean up? Where you been sleeping at? Cause the liver room looks filthy. How dare you tell me to clean up? Well don't. Thank you. I've got enough on my plate without you moaning about the tidiness of my home, Doyle. And I do it anyway. With respect, Leah, you don't. Putting it in some warm water and leaving it doesn't constitute doing the dishes. It's called soaking. It has to soak. Thank you, Leah. 19 for me. It's not a, I don't think that's a word you can use in that game. <laughs> not for a fortnight. At some stage, you should really take the things out of the mucky teabag stained water and put them on the draining board. That way, you don't have to start using your collection of Easter egg mugs from years back simply because there are not clean cups left. Oh, he's got some nerve. You could be sitting out in front of this apartment. Well, why don't you do it then? Or are you still using your little polystyrene tramp cup? <laughs> Leah. He hit low, so you hit lower? No. Snapping at him in anger, I slammed down my next word, determined to beat him in the stupid game. There's no need for that. There's every need. You stank when you first came in here. You stank like a dirty bag of wet laundry. Leah! 
fucking dishwashing did you do then, huh? <laughs> Don't judge me, Leah. You have no right to judge me. You had no right to judge me. You just told me to wash the dishes because they haven't been washed in days. Well, guess what? I'm going through something right now. Mental health is a serious thing. Like... Dale glares at me with one frightening expression on his face than I've ever seen previously, causing me to pause before I explode. Wanting to avoid his gaze, I glimpse at the latest word he placed on the board in confusion. Law? What the heck's law? A note to follow. So? Ugh, fuck this. <laughs> Reaching the limit of my patience, I upend the board. <laughs> I put the board with one swift strike, sending little plastic pieces soaring through the air. He's got some nerve. He really gonna tell me I need to get up and wash dishes and you and you're living you're the guest. You are the guest, sir. If that's how Doyle's gonna be, I'd rather spend my birthday alone in my room. Oh god, did it work back then? <laughs> she was right about that ten. I'm sure she won't miss it though. Wow. Buy her a beer. You're a monster. Leah's a victim and you're a monster. Ten days later. He is a monster monster. This is gonna be a long episode, y'all. Why do I feel so darn tired? I've been sleeping in longer and longer lately, so I should be full of energy. I'm never going to make any progress with my novel at this rate. Murdered by lethargy, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, by lethargy, I slumped on the sofa, struggling to keep my eyes open, when a sudden loud buzz rose from, rises, excuse me, from my days, I cannot read today, I, I am just slamming, when brain don't work, brain just don't work, <laughs> shuffling over to address the sound, my muscles ache, and I can't help but feeling, help with this feeling as though I should just go back to bed, uh, hello? Pizza delivery! Can you buzz me in? Well, I guess we get to meet Fleur now. If only I'm starving. Fleur's cheery voice only serves to make me even grumpier, but I allow her in regardless, folding my arms as I wait for her to arrive on the door. On the floor, hey, excuse me, not door. Oh my. What's that? A new look for you? You look a little frumpy <laughs> to be talking about somebody, but... I appreciate that you're taking consideration that, you know, I don't look well, so you should leave now. I can tell she's just trying to be polite, but she didn't need, needn't bother, excuse me. I look exactly like I feel. Shite. What do you want, Fleur? It's not a good time. Running low on patience, I growl only... <laughs> It makes no sense how she just, like I'm laughing, but more out of, this is so sad. <laughs> it makes no sense how she just, she's basically asking for help and she just needs some help. I really hope this person helps her or reach out to Akuji and they'll be like, hey, look, she's not doing too well. You need to go check on her a lot more. I growl at her more harshly than intended. I know it's not. I know it's not. That's why I come bearing donuts, and you and I are gonna have a good old chat. Any clean plates? No. Pushing past me, Fleur inspects my apartment, attempting to disguise her disgust at the state of the place. I should really be embarrassed, but I guess I just don't care anymore. Dunno. Have a look. In no mind to her, I'd leave her to the search, throwing myself back down on the sofa. Oh well, I suppose some kitchen roll will have to do, won't it? Swiping a spare sheet off of the side unit, Fleur serves up the donuts. As she sits next to me, eyes fill thing. <coughs> sorry. Adjusting, I'm adjusting, I'm so sorry. Eyes fill thing around the room, she clearly is still shocked by the state of the place. So how are you, Leah? Haven't seen you for weeks now. Are you holding up? Well, look at the apartment. The apartment will tell you everything you need to know. Some people are naturally nasty, and then some people are depressed nasty, and I think that, uh... I think Leah's in a depression state, and that's why she's not cleaning or anything or taking care of herself. 
probably because the flirt just said she didn't look too well. Clearly bothered by the stain on the sofa beside her, Flora opts to stand, mounting my long-forgotten exercise equipment in the corner. I'm alright. Just taking a bit of time for myself. Could you get off my treadmill? Oh my god, I would love to have a treadmill. Oh, don't talk I about love treadmills. I've just renewed my gym membership and I've still never been. Now, I'm not trying to be a nosy bitch, but how are you doing for money? Because I thought you were still paying off your student debt. I'm trying not to think about it. I mean... Whew, sorry, I'm a little yawny today. I mean, she hasn't been to work and she doesn't have another job. What do you? How do you think she's doing on money? Does she have a huge savings or something? It's not a topic I want to get into right now as Fleur offers a weak smile climbing down up from the treadmill. Well, a few of us at the school had a whip round. Not everyone took part, naming no names. Cheapskate Pemberton. <clears throat> Her strained attempt to making me smile falls flat as I sigh in response. I don't need charity. I just need peace and quiet so I can get on with my writing. Anyways, it was up to me to get you something. So I thought, what would she rather have? Cash? Or beauty vouchers. So I got you. I'm willing to bet that she did not get you cash. I swear it produces the envelope. I began hoping <laughs> there'd be enough money inside to at least pay the bills for this month. As much as I hate to admit it, it's getting to the point that I might get, be cut off soon. Cash? No vouchers. Uh, Flair. I'll just leave them there. Don't lose it among the debris. Flair, you're treading thin. Relax. Utterly deflated, I sigh once again. If it weren't for the lack of energy, I'd call her out on that sly dig. I don't need her judging me. I'm getting the feeling you'd rather have had the cash. You think? Look at my house. I'm eating toilet paper tissue. I'm hungry. <laughs> I need the money. Well, yes, obvious. You, <laughs> what use do I got for stupid beauty vouchers? If I don't get money, <laughs> some money soon and soon, I may have to no roof over my head much longer. No, it's all right. I'll be fine once my welfare checks start coming through. In fact, Doyle says I'll probably be better off. Doyle? Who's Doyle? Somebody's gonna get me oh, dumped. Oh, he's just a friend. Speaking of which, where the heck is he today? I thought he was going to swing by and drop me some cash for him. <coughs> Excuse me. For his new job. Now he has a job? He used me. Akuji said that he was using me. And, and I didn't believe him. And now this man used me to get himself cleaned up and looking nice and fresh and got some clothes and stuff just so he can go out and get a job and leave me like he reversed our roles oh i've never heard of him dashing doyle eh it's not like that why does she always feel the need to stick her nose in got any plans for tonight nope nothing but that still doesn't mean you can pester me i'm fine here when i feel more awake later I want to get on with my novel. In that case, why don't you freshen up and I'll take us to that noodle place you like. Ooh, we should get chicken katsu curry and fuck the diet. That sounds Me good. Not you. If anything, you could do with putting on a few pounds. What do you say? I really can't, Fleur. It's my treat. Man, she's persistent. Just take the damn hint already. No, I, I just don't want to. If I don't do something, she'll sit here and nag me for the rest of the day. So I haul myself up from the sofa and go and open the front door. That should be a suitable enough for her to get the message. Well, I can see you're busy. As long as you leave in. <laughs> Following me begrudgingly, Fleur, I almost call her Fleur, Fleur lingers in the doorway like a bad smell. Promise me you'll call if you want to chat and stuff. 
I won't. I still haven't found my phone and I don't exactly have the funds to buy a new one right now. Okay. Bye. Slowly closing the door to edge her out in the hallway, Fleur grimaces at the lack of manners. Don't forget about those vouchers. They might come in handy. That was another dig at me. And good riddance. I push the door shut and listen to her footsteps slowly disappear down the hallway. That was definitely another dig at me. The moment I can tell that she's left the building, I resume the voucher <laughs> slouch, excuse me, position on the sofa, almost jumping out of my skin as a cracking sound of a can be <laughs> opens, profuses in <laughs> the stagnant air in the room. So Doyle is here. Doyle, where were you hiding all this time? It's starting to feel like Doyle don't exist. That's what it feels like to me, is that she's made up this this man in her head and he really doesn't exist at all. And hopefully somebody who gets her some help. Because I swear, like, you were there in the, the whole time. I was we're, just in the kitchen minding my own business. One, one? You were in the kitchen the whole time, and you didn't once make a sound. You didn't move. You just sat there and listened to our conversation. It's a little weird. Sitting there indifferently, Doyle waves his can in the air. Go on, then. I might as well. Did you get paid yet? We could really use the money pretty soonish. Not yet. My role's still strictly voluntary, unfortunately. Don't worry about it, though. We'll be just fine. You drink up and relax now. Stop trying to get me drunk. If anything, I shouldn't be drunk at all. Wiping my hands across the condensation covered mirror in the bathroom, a glimpse of the reflection staring back at me that I no longer recognize. Her eyes appear sunken, red veins creeping across the empty white canvas, devoid of light. The more I stare, the more I find myself wondering who this person in front of me could be. So lost and alone. Ooh. Muffled voice from outside the bathroom rattles me from the dreamlike state. Doyle? Aku? It sounded like Aku for a second more than Doyle. Huh? Strange. Wait, is that? You have one new message. Okay, we got a message at least. Recalling in shock, I can barely believe what I'm hearing. It must be Aku. He said he'd call my house phone if I could if he couldn't reach me in any way. Or maybe Doyle's finally come around. It's been days since the last showed up. I was really hoping to speak with him soon. You have one new message. Playing message. Watch it be a message like Hey Leah, it's Doyle. Listen. I used you. I used you. And I'm done. <laughs> Hello, Miss Shearsmith. This is Steve from Eastern Electricity. Just to remind oh, you no. that your call for last month is still outstanding, and as you haven't replied to any of our messages, we will have to terminate your supply at 1800 hours today. Wow. No, that can't be right. There must be a mistake. Dashing across the hallway in a state of denial, I hammer the button on my answering phone. Look at her. She's really losing it. <laughs> Sinking to the ground in despair, I hold my hand in my head, excuse me, my head in my hands backwards, <laughs> fighting the urge to scream at the top of my lungs. Why? Why is this happening to me? All I wanted was a chance to change my life. Doyle said he'd support me. He said I'd be happy. I knew I shouldn't have listened to Akuji after all. He was right. Doyle's just been using me this entire time. Shit, what's going on here? Have you blown a fuse? No. You've been cut off. You know what happened. You've been stealing money from me. You stole my phone. You've been deleting my messages. You cut me off from society completely and got into my head. Just so you could use me. And you got a job now? And you're not paying any bills? Oh, come on, Leah. Have you not paid the bill or something? Wow. <laughs> this guy got some nerve. Here we go. Well? Where's my money, Doyle? You said that check would come. Exactly. It will come. It just takes a while to process. Maybe... 
Maybe I should take over the rent or the lease or whatever. He, Just this, till your money comes through. This man is stealing my apartment away. And the only reason why this is not super bad is because Akuji has an apartment. That's the only reason why it's not super bad. How? I got promoted today. They said my contribution is so invaluable that they're making it a permanent paid position. A new beginning. Oh my. What is it you're doing again? Yeah. Working with kids on an outreach program. It's already been so rewarding. Getting paid on top of that is, well, it's like a dream come true. Good for you. Hmm. At least someone's dreams are coming true. Too tired to talk anymore, I lower my head, resting it on my knees, when a gentle hand comes and lays on top, stroking my hair affectionately. Here, take this. When I raise my head, Doyle's holding out a wad of cash. How did he get to be the one holding all the cards here? I can't. It's too much. Oh, <laughs> this is what we did to him. I'd like you to have it, Leah. You've done so much for me. Without another word, I snatched the money from his hand like a dog taking scraps from a kindly stranger. Oh, are you running me a bath? That's very thoughtful. Thanks, Leah. I mean, technically, I was running myself a bath, but, you know. Look at how he left me here. Gone before I can even protest, Doya disappears into the bathroom in an annoying, cheerful mood. I probably couldn't have mustered the energy to wash myself anyway. Just as I'm dwelling on whether to head back into <laughs> back to bed for the night, my door flies open, revealing the face I've almost forgotten. Leah, what are you doing sitting in the dark? Akuchi! I've been cut off. I'm sorry, Aku. I miss you so much. Everything's going wrong. Oh my god. Almost in tears, I gaze up at Aku on the verge of a breakdown, trying with all my might to hold myself together in front of him. <sighs> you can't carry on like this, Leah. I know. Please don't leave me. Oh my god. Oh, look at him. He's here for me. Leah, you did Aku so wrong. You don't even deserve the things that he gave you. I clench my fist so hard that my nails cut into my skin as Aku kneels down beside me, wrapping one arm around my shoulders, pulling me close to kiss me on the cheek. I'm not going anywhere. You need to sort your head out, and I'm gonna help you, okay? You're just in a slump. Yeah, you are. I know. Doyle says I'll be alright once my welfare comes in. Then I can get on with my writing. Yeah. Sniffling, I attempt to disguise my tears. Yeah. Maybe I can write a play for you to be in. <laughs> Doyle says. Leah, there is no Doyle. W what? Y'all, was I right? <laughs> was I freaking right? Huh? What the heck is Aku talking about? Of course there is. Dill's been here more than he has lately. Dill's been the one trying to help me. Look around you. There's nobody else here. Where are his things? I threw them away. They were so filthy I gave him some of the stuff you left here. Wow. Leah, Doyle doesn't exist. It's just you. You've invented him to cope with what's been happening. No, I haven't. Where is he then? Show him to me. Oh my goodness. I was right, he doesn't exist. He's here now, in the bathroom. This turned into a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting myself from the ground, I head towards the bathroom with Akuji in tow. This isn't exactly how I wanted them to meet, but it's the only way Aku would have been satisfied. Wait, what? Where did he go? Much to my stunned surprise, the bathroom lies vacant, steam still rising from the bathwater. See? Look, Leah, you've been depressed for a long, long time. You just wanted to give yourself an excuse to leave your job, start drinking, drop out of the life you hated. I don't understand. Wow. Everything's spinning. My head hurts. None of this makes any sense. <sighs> You're not Keiko Yukimura, Leah. You're just a school teacher who had a nervous breakdown. We had a nervous breakdown, y'all. Okay. 
moving to perch so my weary body on the edge of the bath. I sit in silence, allowing Aku's words to slowly sink in. With each second that passes, it all becomes clearer. Akuji's right. I'm so sorry, Leo, but I've really got to go. Our premiere's tonight, and I've got to get my hair and makeup done, but I promise I'll be back, all right? He's leaving me again? We'll get through this together, Leah. You just have to be strong. But, but Doyle... No. Get this Doyle out of your head once and for all. Doyle doesn't exist. Squeezing me tightly, I feel Akuji's warmth seeping into the frozen form. I don't want him to... <coughs> Sorry. Terrible time to sneeze. <laughs> I don't want him to let go. I don't want him to leave. I love you, Leah. Wait for me, okay? Akuji brushes my matted hair aside with care, kissing me softly on the forehead before walking out of my apartment. Oh my god, I was so right. I want to follow him to watch him perform again. But my legs like lead kept me rooted to the spot. Okay, Haku. Gazing down into the bathwater, I wipe my eyes with the sleeve of my jumper when Doyle's reflection materializes beside me, distressed and distorted. Is everything alright, Leah? You don't exist. Give me the clothes back, too. Turning to face him, I glare at Doyle with steel in my eyes and fire in my heart. I know what needs to be done now. You don't exist, so go away. <laughs> Staring down at the streets below, I smile <laughs> on my face. I squint at the faint morning sun reflecting off the passing cars, taking in the smell of freshly brewing coffee. <laughs> And instead of saying, it's about time we nip this in the bud, I came out with, it's about time we nip this in the butt. I don't know where it came from. Tim looked at me, and I could tell he was about to absolutely lose his shit. <laughs> he would have been in pieces. Luckily for us, most of the audience were asleep or deaf, so they didn't clock it. Well, you know what? Accidents happen. <laughs> Walking over with two coffees in hand, Akuji recites his only opening night mishaps with the usual twinkle of mischief in his eye. I only wish I could have been there to watch it all happen. Well, this is a transformation, isn't it? You look like a new woman. Yeah, we wash the smell of fermented fish, booty, and feet off of us, and we, and you know, combed our hair, brushed our teeth, maybe, and we look, and we look good. We look good. We feel good. Placing the mugs down on the table, Aku shoots me a signature wink. His tone may have been sarcastic, but I can feel nothing but affection in his words. <laughs> well, I've got you to thank for that. I don't know what I'd do without you. No, this is a good ending. I love this ending. Scooping me up, <laughs> scooping me up with his arms, Aku kisses me lovingly on the lips, and I melt into his embrace of a man I've missed so much. Hmm? Who's that? Fuck knows. So, here's my question. Did you, did you take any, like, medication? Did you get some medical help? Because I feel like this, this needs medical help, medical attention. Like, I think this is when you seek therapy at this point. If you just mustered up a man out of nowhere, like, yeah, you need medical help. I go to break away from Aku, only to only he tightens his grip, trapping me there with him. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, I'm not having someone steal you away now. We've spent enough time apart lately, thank you very much. You're not going anywhere. Well, as much as I appreciate the sentiment, what if it's something important? We should answer it, like... I know Akuji's here, so we don't care. And personally, I probably would answer it anyway because it might be something serious. But, like, I'm sorry, but I better just check. Yeah, it might be your job. Like, your boss coming to give you your job back. And that would be a perfect ending. You got your man, your job back, and stuff, and you're still able to work on your book. Pulling away from Aku, I rush to the intercom, partly willing a mysterious visitor away. <laughs> As Aku wanders back to the kitchen, seamlessly disappointed. Hello? Hi, it's Fleur. Of course it's Fleur. Like, 
Maybe she's telling us we got our job back and then her visit isn't for nothing. Shite. Oh, well. I suppose I better let her in for now <clears throat> that she knows that I'm home. Come on up. Besides, I was pretty rude to her last time. This would be a good opportunity to soothe things over with her. Hey, Aku, it's Blur from work. Cool. I'll put the kettle on. Okay. Aku calls back from the kitchen as I hear him refilling the kettle for our guest. Okay. So this must be the ending ending. Hello, stranger. Like the good ending. I was just doing a coffee run for my builders and I thought I'd scooch by. Glad to see you're looking well. Yeah, thank you. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks. That scarecrow look wasn't doing you any favors. No offense. Okay, I still have my I got my energy back now. Don't make me don't make me take a take a jab at you. <laughs> <Not taken. clears throat> I really did look a mess after all, though. I'm not entirely sure that comment was necessary. Well, we're all missing you still. They've had that awful substitute teacher in. You know, the one who can't get through a lesson without erupting like an ancient volcano. Okay. Behave or I'll stick this pen where the sun don't shine. Can you even say that in school? That's the one. We're hoping you might reconsider. I'm sure Pemberton would take you. Okay. I just need a bit more time. Oh, that's so sweet. After everything I suffered recently, I just want to spend more time with Aku alone. And I'll get back to teaching when I feel ready. I know you've been through a lot and it hasn't been easy. But it might do you some good to get back to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Aku's been telling me. But I'm sticking to my guns. Aww. Come on in anyway. I'll let him know you're here. Aku? Okay. Huh? That's weird. I thought he was making coffee. Oh, don't tell me he he thought that we would get rid of them. And he went in the room to for some schmecks time. Aku. <clears throat> Damn it, where's he gone? Fleur's here. I guess he must have effed off to use the toilet or something. Leah? Hmm? I'm oh, sorry, he was here just a second ago. Yeah, please don't comment on my house, because I feel like that's what she's going to do. It's like, I know you're feeling better, but you should clean your house. She seems like one of those. <clears throat> I'm about to head into the kitchen to finish making Fleur's drink myself when her hands drop softly to my shoulders from behind, haunting me in my tracks. Akuji died, Leah. Remember? In the car accident? Uh, oh, What? I'm sorry, run that by me one more time? What the heck is she talking about? Please say, psych. But I was only speaking to him a minute ago. Yeah. I attempt to brush her aside, but Fleur's grip tightens reflectively as she stares at me with pity. Why is she looking at me like that? Stop! We all said you'd come back to work too soon. We know how much you loved him, but it's time to let him go now. Akuchi's dead? But he saved me. He saved me from Doyle. Oh dear. I'll get you a tablet. A tablet of what? Of sanity? Cause, cause apparently I don't... Because apparently I'm... I'm insane. Who does she think she is, coming in here trying to mess with my head, and now she thinks that she can just go snooping in my bathroom without my permission? I've had it with this nosy witch. Suppose I should grin and bear it until she's gone, though, and she might start gossiping with me <laughs> about me to the rest of the staff again. Leah? Oh my god! What have you done? What do you mean, what have I done? Girl, what do you see here that I don't see? Because <laughs> I'm, you got me lost. <laughs> Following Flair's footsteps, I peer over her shoulder, shrugging. <gasps> oh, that's just Doyle. Don't worry. Oh He's my God! Me. Come have coffee. Akuji's already boiled the kettle. Doyle's real? <laughs> wait a minute. That's the wait. This is messing my head up. <laughs> this is messing my head up. So Doyle was real the whole time Akuji's not real this is messing my head up 
Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. Oh my God, this was the best twist I've ever <laughs> experienced. Oh my goodness. I know I've said that maybe once or twice, but there's not many games where you can't just guess the ending. I would have never guessed. I thought Doyle was fake <laughs> the whole time. I would have never guessed that Doyle was real the whole time. Oh my god, thank the artists, thank everybody, you guys. This game was amazing. You guys definitely need to go check this game out because this is just insane. I hope there's like more to it because there's other routes I didn't take. There's other routes that I didn't take, so I'm going to hope. Lars van den Hushbell? I hope I said your name right. Oh my god, Megan Gotho, you guys did so good in here, the male doctor. I didn't even get to a male doctor. Yeah, there's there's different routes I need to take. Female doctor, Steve. I didn't meet a Steve at all. Oh wait, didn't a Steve call? Anthony Rodriguez, question mark, question marks? Special thanks. Oh my god, y'all did amazing. Thank you for playing the apartment number nine. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. I really did, Melancholy. Oh my god, you're so sweet. You can now access Doyle's story, which contains new and expanded endings. The extra section is now also unlocked. However, I didn't have enough time before the end of the jams to make the menu work exactly how I, as I want it, excuse me. In order to access the new content, you must first go into one of the other menu options such as low gallery or settings. Once you back out, you should be able to click on the image to begin Doyle's story or the number nine to enter the extras. Wow. Y'all know I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. And they switch. It's not Leah up there anymore. It's Doyle in front now. Thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate it. This was amazing. This was super cool. Like 100% awesome. I'm gonna come back to this and I'm gonna play the Doyle part and stuff. There were four parts that I played already. This should be the fourth part and the fourth ending. I wanna thank you each and every one of you guys that support this and i will see all you guys in the next episode peace and love and stay safe out there